morning everyone just about to start a new dish well it's going to be gobi gosh which means cauliflower meat curry so a bit of meat um, I'm only making a little amount so that's why I'm using a little bit of meat right in this lamb um, cauliflower onions garlic ginger and then the spices I'm using a teaspoon of each haldi um, zero powder vanilla powder and chili powder here are the whole spices We've got um, nitty seeds cumin seeds and that's that joanne that i'm talking about which is ideal for this kind of cooking because it will help to get rid of bloatiness and digest properly so you need that it's like caraway seeds i think it is a few black pepper black peppers cinnamon stick and that's onions um, the black seeds and um, i'm going to write up about those cardamoms and a few bay leaves that's it so we'll start Okay, I'm going to add the whole spices. Just wait for them to start sort of um, popping kind of thing as you can see. and the aromas are coming out and the flavour will go into the oil very much nicer. And onion. Okay. And what we want to, what we want to do to the onions is to just get them sort of to caramelise a bit. Um, don't burn them or anything, just start, go, or go into like a more sort of a paste kind of look. Um, it will take a little while, so I'll be back in a second. So just sort of, just sort of round up a little bit, but that's enough because obviously we're going to cook them further. Just put the meat in, I've said it's not a lot of meat. Um, fry the meat so that the flavour can come out as much as it can. So fry that for about five minutes. So then the flavour will come into the onions and so on. Just do that for a minute. So we fried this for about five minutes. I'm now going to add the dry powders. And give them a little mix. I haven't added the salt that I will do. So Salt obviously to your taste, obviously, so you can always use it just this afterwards. You can always adjust the, the chilli, the flavour, um, on colours that's really good because then you, you get the balance and you know what to do. So I'll put all that in. I'm going to add the tomato, two tomatoes um, chopped. I'm going to add them now because then they will get into the flavour rather than having them afterwards and then you'll see the skin and the, you don't want tomatoes floating around or anything. So now I'm going to add those and then they will sort of cook together for a few minutes. I'm going to add about a pint of water um, and then I'm going to turn it off once. Well, I'm going to turn it off and once I put the top on and we're going to just cook until we keep an eye on the meat until it's tender. So I've added the, the, the spices, the whole chili and all that stuff. I've added two tomatoes, salt, and I've, I've put the tomatoes in now so that they can then evaporate with all the other things and, and you don't have tomatoes floating around. I'm going to add the water now and then we're going to cl uh, close it off and then we're going to heat it and then cook and don't overcook the meat. So you have to keep an eye on it. But I'm doing it a pressure cooker so I'll have to keep an eye on that. Right, as you can see, the oil is now coming to the top there like that. Can you see that? That's what you want to be left with. And now I'm going to put in some tomato puree, about two tablespoons. Okay, mix that in there now. This is now ready for the cauliflower to go in. Mix that up. You might have to add a little bit of water. 
water, not too much, but about a half a cup possibly, and then just put it on a low heat for them to start cooking by itself um, until the cauliflower has gone soft. So I like to mash my cauliflower a little. I don't like it um, in uh, big, big chunks. So just mixing that in, and we are there. We are. Look how nice and soft it's gone. And I was going on about the uh, the mithi, the kapuri mithi now, which is this. I'm just going to crumble some of that in here like that. And there we are. Mix that in. Okay. And we're just going to finish off with um, garnishing it with coriander. And that's that then finished. Here's our cauliflower lamb curry. Nice and dry, you don't want it watery. And that's it there. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.